Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at the Speedway Signature Event, checking in 2011K Kinetic. Holy cow, we just watched our first match, and this is a wall stake scoring machine. Already two tournament wins under their belt so far, an excellence award, think award, and a skills award as well too, so congratulations on all the products you made so far. And definitely one of the big contenders here at Speedway. We're gonna be breaking down uh, their 600 RPM drivetrain, going more into that wall stake mech, some of the sensors you're using, and learn more about this complete rebuild coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. All right, we have Anishka and Luke here to talk more about your 600 RPM drivetrain. So, of course, let's take a look underneath what's going on with that. I'd love to hear more about why you went that route and how it's been working out for you. Yeah, so we have a six-wheel drive made up of 2.5-inch Omni wheels with six motors, and it's 600 RPM with a one-to-one -one gear ratio. Yeah, so on our old robot, we only had a 450 RPM drivetrain which was faster than a lot of teams, but it was also slower than a lot of teams. And we found that uh, our strategies with corner control and just rapid scoring uh, weren't as effective with a slower drivetrain. So on our, on our rebuild, we decided to speed up our drivetrain a decent amount to 600 RPM. And we found that in the previous tournament we went to with this drivetrain and at this tournament already, that speed has really helped us to score uh, quickly and efficiently. So you're looking from a match strategy standpoint, has that impacted your match strategy and all, how, you, how you're approaching it so far? Yeah, definitely. So at the start of the season, we were really unsure what the strategy would even be. So, and we quickly found out that controlling the positive corners as quickly as you possibly can was the most effective strategy. And so a uh, big factor in that is, you know, moving there as fast as you can, the drivetrain. So uh, that really factored into switching to 600 RPM, and now that we are on 600 RPM, we can fine tune that to figure out the best routes, the best uh, you know, contingency plans for getting to corners quickly. Speaking about big impact, I think your uh, wall stake Mac is really the big star of this robot as well too, so I'd love to hear more about what's gone into that, if we can maybe just show how that process works as well too. Uh, Luke, you'll be talking about it as well as with Derek and Sawyer, so I'd love to hear more about this breakdown and some of the uh, also tech that's gone into it. Yeah, so for a wall stake mech, we run it at 40 RPM. It's a 12 to 60 tooth gear. And then, so how it works is if you could into the ring. So we have our wall stake mech, a Lady Brown mech, invented by team 18522R. So it, it raises up, we intake a ring into the wall stake mech, and it's kept in by horizontal and vertical friction using the, this anti-slip right here, and these, uh, these two pieces of Lexan. And then, since it's 40 RPM, it can efficiently score on the wall stake mechs. And as you could see with how the Lady Brown mechanism kind of went back and forth very effectively, very crisp, what we used to do, this is a rotation sensor mounted on this cross axle in which the Lady Brown spins upon. What this allows us to do is we made a PID standing for proportional integral derivative, which takes the values received by this rotation sensor and the internal motor encoders built into the two five and a half watt motors, taking these, meshing them together, allowing us for perfect movements, which is primarily important in the top stage here, which the Lady Brown mechanism, Luke, you can put this down and show the Lady Brown mechanism. It's very important for this motion here, as if we had to put it up to the exact height by hand every single time, it would be very difficult due to the fact that it has to be in a precise place. So using this PID to do it is incredibly beneficial in every aspect of the game. Is there any difference between scoring on the uh, Alliance stakes versus the uh, open wall stakes? So Alliance stakes versus open wall stakes, there's actually a very big difference for us because to score on an Alliance stake, we actually utilize our hook intake because we built it at the proper height and distance from the wall in which it can score on it very consistently, very efficiently, which is very beneficial in Auton, especially getting the autonomous win point, so that at local competitions, we don't have to rely on getting the two mobile goals, but at a competition like this, a signature event, the autonomous win point is more difficult, meaning that we have to get the three stakes, so especially being able to get on that alliance wall stake efficiently has been very crucial, that's getting a win point, as we did in our first match today. 
Uh, and Luke, in your first match, you guys really attacked those wall stakes on there. So, you know, from your first match going in and even looking forward to this as well, is that going to be a continuous strategy for you to really just go after wall stakes during your matches? I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, so obviously we can score as many rings as we want on those goals. But at the end of the day, uh, the three rings from ha the three points from having a top ring on those wall stakes is going to be crucial in almost every single match. So making sure that we can score on those every single time in like the last 15 seconds after goals are pretty much relevant in the positive corner, uh, that just allows us to win a lot of matches where we might not have the positive uh, positive corner control we want. And um, yeah, the wall stake is just gives us a lot more opportunities to win, I guess. Yeah, as we see the meta of this game evolve, I mean, it just becomes more and more and more important to, to have good control over those. So it's yeah. great to see that your team has really tackled that as well. Uh, Karina, I got to ask you, looking at, you know, for your team, we mentioned that you're doing a full rebuild for that. What are some other maybe key highlights that your team focused on? And why did you make those changes from your previous events? Yeah, so for intake, we originally had a flex wheel intake, which had a hood on it, but we switched to a hood intake, hook intake, because we determined that we saw it at many tournaments that having a hook and take really had a good beneficial benefit to scoring the rings onto the goals faster, which is very important in matches, making sure that we get the rings onto the goals as fast as we can and to the positive corners. And looking forward, uh, you know, for coming in this SIG, obviously your team has a great robot so far. Any major plans for future signature events yet, or are you going to wait till this event expires first? I think we're probably going to see how we do at this event, and then we'll see what is best for a robot in the future at next tournaments. Awesome. Well, Kinetic, first off, congratulations once again on a great season so far. We can't wait to see how you do here at Speedway, as hopefully you're getting ready to qualify for roles. We really hope to see you there as well, too. Thanks for taking the time to explain all this. Great stuff in your robot. We can't wait to see how you do, and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.